Hey Aries, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is going to be your weekly reading. It's on the 7th of November to the 13th, 2021. But as always, it could resonate any day, week, month, year, anytime you're guided. And it's for anyone with Aries placements or for anyone else who's guided to see the Aries reading. Um, all right, so first off, I got to go over the spiel that I gave everyone else. It's about the channel. We need to speak about the channel here for a minute. Um, it's important. I hope you guys will hang in there. It's just like a two-minute conversation. Um, okay, so I borrowed somebody's computer to do these readings, and it's taking a very, very long time for these um, videos to upload and process. Um, as you probably know, or some of you don't know, um, YouTube videos, you know, they take a kind of a powerful appliance to be able to um, process these videos, to upload them and process them, especially if you're doing a whole bunch of it uh, at the same time. Um, it can literally go down to a crawl where it could take hours to get one out because they're all backed up because your computer just isn't strong enough to do it. My computer broke down and my computer, although it was an old computer, was a good computer it was able to carry the load. But the thing is, it was on its last leg and I kept nursing it back to health. And this time I actually had to take it to someone and they said that it really is done. So here we are right before the end of the year holiday readings, right before the New Year's readings, right in the middle of, you know, how busy this channel has been. Um, I have no computer. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that you guys are gonna be able to come through for me. I've never asked ever for a penny. But because I'm an only parent, I'm, I've am i got a sweet 16 birthday right now for my daughter that I am not going to ruin for her because of my YouTube channel. Um, I also have Christmas and the holidays coming up. And I, like I said, I'm an only parent doing it all myself. Anything you guys can do to help would be so greatly appreciated. And I've never asked before and I, I hate even asking, but I don't want you guys not to have these readings. I mean, right now we're doing weeklies, monthlies, we're doing monthly generals, monthly love, we're doing dailies, we're doing weekend readings, we're doing career and finance readings. And now, like I said, the end of the year holiday readings and the new year readings are so important. They were my biggest watch readings my first year on YouTube, which was last year. First time I did them. Um... I believe that you guys can pull this off for me. It doesn't take much from each person to help out. Anyone who would like to help out, I would greatly appreciate this. And I'm sure everyone else would appreciate it too. So anything you can do. And those of you that can't, I totally get it. Believe me, I do. I get it. Um, I just was thinking, you know, should I shut down the channel till after the holidays or what should I do? You know, I have a big tax bill due right after the holidays. There's just no way I can pull off buying a new computer right now. Um, so I'm hoping you guys will do it for me. Anyway, I'm putting it out there. I've never asked before. I'm hoping that that's okay that you guys can relate to what I'm going through. It's really um, to make sure everybody gets these beautiful readings that they need for the new year and for the end of the year. I know these are so important to people. Um, they are probably the biggest readings of the year that we're not going to be able to have right now if we don't get a new computer. I did borrow this one for the whole weekend. It's extremely slow, but I do appreciate them getting it to me so I could get these announcements out and get these weeklies done for you so last minute the way that it was. I got a weekend reading out for you that you should have already seen, and I'm going to get the Monday reading out. After that, I'm kind of hoping it's all up to you guys to see if there's been a lot of PayPal action. If there's enough that I can afford this computer, I will get it immediately. Anyway, thank you guys for even considering it. If you can, so appreciative of it. And I'm sure everyone else will be as well. Let's get into your reading here. All right, Aries, spirit and angels, anyone for the high school for Aries, what are the most important messages we have for Aries? Anyone with Aries placements? We have grief. Give me one more, please, for Aries. What's important for this Aries reading? Release. Okay, so it's time to release the grief. And at the bottom, you've got balance. Okay, so it's time to bring in some kind of balance and to release the grief. Now, this grief you've had could be from the past. It could have been with other people. Because see this card, how these people don't look happy. So, uh, like, you getting this... Um, this beautiful um, balance back in your life and releasing this grief might not make other people so happy. You know, some people are not, you know, good people. Anyway, 
let's get into it and find out what this is it could just be that spirits telling you to release the grief because they want to bring this really special balance into your life for you or help you get to this balance i feel like you can do this anyway but let's find out what comes out with the tarot cards oh this was chakra wisdom oracle and this is chakra wisdom tarot these are very hard to um shuffle they're like shuffling some bricks so hang in there with me for a few minutes they're extremely hard they've got no bend spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading please for anyone with aries placements or anyone else who's guided to see it whenever they're guided to see it we have grief release and balance what are the most important messages you have for the people who need them the most please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and to deliver the messages as accurately as possible to the people who need them grief release and balance what do we need to know here grief release and balance Okay, what do we need to know here? Aries reading grief, release, and balance. Aries reading. What do we need to know about this grief, release, and balance that came out for Aries? For anyone with Aries placements or anyone else who's guided to see it what are the most important messages i feel like nothing's coming out for you guys is there anything else we need to know about this reading knight of swords reversed you know so, so this could be um we also have the magician so there could be some kind of block communication there could have been someone who lied about something what else do we need to know here ace of pentacles gorgeous okay and oh nine of cups wow this is beautiful the magician the ace of oh i'm sorry yeah ace of coins and nine of cups beautiful beautiful what else do we need to know about this reading king of coins reverse this could be the liar liar pants on fire so listen so you might have had a fight with the king of coins or there could have been um, block communication there could have been a lie that was told he is in the reverse um, something here about this king of coins um, and well look at that well I can't take all that the ten of pentacles was right on top of it but it was a whole clump of cards I can't take that many we're only doing you know little readings here um, could I have a little more information okay king of wands in the upright so one of you is coming through as king of wands and one of you is coming through as king of coins and king of wands is in the upright and king of coins isn't if this is a choice between two people i would say go with the fire sign aries leo or sagittarius we have the um ace of cups here it is it's reversed but look at it it's just within her like she's almost got it in her hands it's almost there now she or he you know just because they show a she on this card doesn't mean a damn thing all right so there's a brand new beginning this is higher level two of cups look at it the temperance card so this beautiful new beginning is on its way to you it's coming into you after some kind of devastating loss with the ten of swords here or an ending of some sort look at this overcoming it with the chariot and this beautiful seven of wands i love this energy this is like i overcame it i beat it they stuck ten swords in my back but i survived it wow and there it is it's on its way this is about to flip in the upright and this is higher level two of cups whatever this is whatever this is like soulmate energy for sure now listen this might not be a love reading but something happened in the past that was painful and we've overcome something really amazing there's been a grief that ten of swords was grief you might have lost a soulmate and i'm sorry i have to say that it could have even been to death because look at the grief card and the release card um and then you know spirit says allow this balance to come back into your life after deep loss i mean this could you know looks like a death right it doesn't have to be obviously and it won't be for most of you but someone's overcoming a deep loss of some sort and they're going to be ready for a new beginning soon right now the brakes are on 
We've got the um, Knight of Wands in reverse stopping, halting. We're not doing anything right this minute, but there's about to be. Look at it. Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles are about to come into your life. This is a beautiful new beginning trying to come in. Trying to come into your life. Hold on one second, you guys. Okay, so sorry, you guys. Um, okay, so I don't know where I was. I got interrupted so quickly I had to go. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> Yes, these gor this gorgeous new beginning is coming for you. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. It is being brought to you courtesy of the universe, whatever it is. I feel like it's divinely guided. These are all base chakra. Look at them all. They're all base chakra. They all have to do with your foundation, your your um, stability, your security. It's, it's absolutely, this is your basic needs. This is your tribal power. This is really beautiful energy. One of these was in the upright. I think this one. Okay. So anywho, we have here, um, you know, the need to release this grief or this pain or come into balance about something here. Um, there's been a complete stop put into uh, to, on you. You've stopped. I feel like you did this. You said, stop. No, I'm not going any further. I'm healing. And you have been overcoming something that you went through that caused this grief that you need to release, that caused this pain. And for a few of you, this either even was a death of a person in your life that you loved, okay? So, uh, and for those of you that it is, I'm so sorry this is coming out in your reading. For others of you, this um, is not, it, it was some other kind of grief and loss and pain that you went through, maybe a breakup or, you know, um, a friendship, something. I don't know exactly what it was, and I'm sure it's going to be different for each of you what kind of pain and grief you went through and why, right? It could have been a job, could have been anything. So as we come into the reading, everything's kind of put to a halt. Like, I'm not ready for this new beginning just yet. Everything's stopped on, on hold, but I'm busy working it, baby. The Magician, the Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Cups says to me, somebody's manifesting in wish fulfillment and a beautiful new beginning. I even believe you're manifesting in this Ace of Cups and Spirit is right there with you, sending it to you, bringing it to you, helping you get through this and wanting you to have this. It's just on hold for a little bit longer. Um, now we got to find out why. As I always tell you guys, when you come to my channel, when I see an Ace in Reverse, along with several other different cards like the Wheel of Fortune or the, the World or the Fool, when I see them in Reverse... I don't feel like you're not getting these new beginnings. I don't feel like you're not having them. I feel like something's got to give. What is it that we need to do? Well, we're going to need forward movement. We can see that right here. Okay, when you're ready to move forward, you're manifesting all this in. You're working with the universe. You're pulling in your hopes, wishes, and dreams. You're pulling in. Look at she is holding that Ace of Cups that she's calling in. And she's working with Spirit to bring it in. And she's calling in this Ace of Pentacles. She, he, doesn't matter, guys. I'm just going by the pictures here. So this could be male, female, he, they, she. It doesn't matter. You guys put the gender where you will on your end, okay? Now, we have here the King of Coins who's reversed. And we have the King of Wands who's in the upright. So are we having a situation where there's been a dispute is there someone not talking to you are you not talking to them is there a king of coins we're not speaking to i mean i would say this is you aries the king of wands over here and i don't care what gender you are right and i don't care what gender your partner is so if i say he or she just ignore me because i say whatever's on the picture sometimes but you feel free to make it whoever or whatever you want male female female male masculine feminine i don't care all right. So anyway, King of Coins in reverse and we're not speaking or we had a fight or there was something that happened or went down or we're just not speaking. Like I put a stop to everything, right? Like I felt in the beginning of the reading. So let's get into it. Let's some, get some clarity on it and find out what exactly is going on here. Spirit wants you to release something that's been painful and take this balance into your life. Allow the happiness and joy and the new beginnings to come in. So let's find out why is that coming up and who's it about. I do, I'm curious about this Knight of, I'm sorry, King of Coins. I don't know why I just said Knight of Coins reverse. What about, because the Knight of Swords is reversed as well. I kind of combined them. So I feel like that could be the same person, Knight of Swords, King of Coins. This could be somebody who you're, you've blocked communication with or they've blocked it from you. Um, that could have been the grief. 
There could have been a big fight. There could have been anything. Anyway, let's get into it. Grief, release, and balance. Spirit and angels. Anyone for the highest good for this Aries reading. What do we need to know? Grief, release, and balance. What's important? I'm going to do two more shuffles and we're going to go with it because we're taking too long on this reading. That's for sure. One more shuffle. Grief, release, and balance. For anyone with Aries placements or anyone else who's guided to see this reading. What do we need to know about the Knight of Swords reversed? What's important here? What is the most important part? King of Cups reversed. Wow. Not my favorite person, I got to tell you. Okay, so tell me what this is. To, this to me says someone could be emotionally manipulating you by not speaking to you. Like, I'm not going to speak to you and I'm going to try to get you to get all crazy about that. Emotional manipulator. Someone who is not in your highest good. All right, so keep this in mind. This person could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They are coming out as masculine, but if that's different for you, just flip it, okay? Or even, um, actually, this person could be Aquarius, Libra, and, or Gemini as well. So whatever works for you, this person is kind of being control freakish and trying to manipulate someone. They're definitely, oh my God, absolutely. The Page of Cups re reverse, very insincere, very stupid player, I'm going to try to control you by not speaking to you. I'm going to try to control you by being a real jerk. All right. Tell me about the King of Coins reversed. And that's what I was about to clarify when that came out. So this is probably all the same. Yeah, full reversed. Um, I feel as though this person and yes the full reverse can be the aries it could be you you could be the king of coins reverse you could have been put in some kind of third party with this three of pentacles here reverse this could be a work situation um with the three of pentacles here reversed let's find out what this is why is the king of coins here with the full reversed why this could be your energy feeling like i'm not moving forward with this manipulator and i'm pissed tell me about king of coins reversed with the full reversed what do we need to know Nope, just one or two. King of coins reversed with the full reversed. What's important here? Okay, let's, oh gosh, I almost dropped them all. Okay, so we've got nine and 10 of cups reversed. Lots of disappointment. The nine and the 10, both reversed. This is a lot of disappointment. You are like, I'm not budging with this person. I am very unhappy with this person. All the cups are reversed everywhere I look. King of Cups is reversed. Page of Cups is reversed. Nine of Cups is reversed. Ten of Cups is reversed. Cups are in the reverse here. Even the Ace of Cups in the beginning is in reverse. I don't feel like that's the same person though. All right, let's get into the King of Wands. What do we need to know about this King of Wands? Aries reading. Why is the King of Wands here? To me, this would be the Aries reading normally. Why is the King of Wands here? What do we need to know about them? Okay, interesting. All right, well, that's interesting. This Four of Swords was going to come out in the reverse, and it spun around to come out in the upright. And we also have the Four of Cups in reverse and the Six of Swords. This tells me someone's been recovering from something very disappointing again, from some sort of rejection, from something that happened here. Um, someone felt very rejected here. Uh, but they're moving away from it. We're moving towards a more peaceful time after going through whatever this was. I think this could have been third party. I really do. Uh, or this is the same person, like I said, very emotionally manipulative. And you said, no, I'm not moving forward with them. Um, and this is your energy over here recovering from whatever it is. And you're coming out as King, um, King of Wands in the upright. Having gone through something but recovering. Um, and something good is coming in. Let's find out what, what, what is all this manifestation? We've got the magician, the ace of coins and the nine of cups. This is someone and the ace of cups manifesting in a new, new, new everything. What is being manifested here? What do we need to know about all this energy with magician, ace of coins, nine of cups and ace of cups? What is all this that's being manifested in here? Tell me more about it. What do we need to know about it? What would, okay, wow, we're dumping the burdens and we're waiting for that Ace of Cups. Okay, so here's your answer. We got the Ace of Cups again reversed. 
and they'll come in that ace of cups will come in when you dump these burdens when these ten wands are dumped this ace gets flipped in the upright and this all comes down to letting an old cycle end and a new cycle come in and that's what you're manifesting in that's why you're working on this that's why you're healing from this you're healing from something there was some kind of a rejection i think this person was a player player all the way home drug you down drug your energy down um caused disappointment caused sadness caused drained energy cups in reverse everywhere and you are manifesting them right out of your life like you are manifesting yourself towards something peaceful you're letting this go you're doing what spirit asked here the grief and releasing your healing i mean how many times did we see this grief grief and release and here it is releasing the grief and healing from this disappointment and getting to a place of peace um absolutely the grief in these uh, nine and ten of cups reverse shows us why you are not moving forward with this person this person i'm telling you is a capricorn taurus virgo cancer pisces scorpio or gemini aquarius or libra i keep getting it over and over again here and you are manifesting yourself out of the grief and into a brand new cycle and you're ready you're like spirit bring me the new beginning i want to clarify the ace of cups at the bottom right here what is this ace of cups at the bottom of the deck wow your new beginning is about you and that's the way it should be after going through this absolutely a whoa graduation look at it that's the world that is you graduating from a cycle and you getting balanced within you this is beautiful energy it truly is and that's what your ace of cups is that's what spirit is helping you recover from the ten swords in your back the ten wands on your back all the disappointment they're sending you a gorgeous gorgeous new beginning look at this i mean i can't tell you how nice this is and don't forget not only is it being brought courtesy of the universe it's the ace of cups it's the ace of pentacles it's the nine of pentacles it's balance it's the world it's dumping burdens you got the ace of cups here twice in fact right not only all of that but it's also wish fulfillment nine of cups there's so much good to be had here and where how does it come in it comes in by you dumping the burden of whatever this is that has been so painful for you and allowing spirit to guide you towards your new beginning and your new beginning is literally all about you and it should be it should be guys reach out to me and let me know what this is i'm going to be dying to hear from you guys um aries beautiful reading um i really really enjoyed this reading i feel like this is for someone who has been through the ringer and now spirits helping them release the pain of the past and concentrate on themselves and bringing them joy and happiness with themselves and that's most important right that'll get you into that nine of pentacles energy and when you get into that nine of pentacles energy is when you're really ready for a relationship if that's what you want you might want to be single and just enjoying your life for a while after what you went through guys reach out to me let me know what this was or if you want to comment was this love or was this somewhere else in your life where you um you know felt so betrayed and hurt or did you actually lose a person um through death or a breakup or something like that anyway guys thanks so much for tuning in again if anyone would like to donate for the new computer the PayPal is directly beneath this video in the description area. Just tap on the more information or whatever and it should show up. If you don't see it there, go to the about page. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.